people reported smelling it across. Remember the big stink in 2012? Did you smell it? Kind of like rotten eggs. It was quite a stench. And millions of Southern California <laughs> residents might need to get used to it because that rotten egg smell will likely happen again. The culprit? A lake that few of us have ever seen. 130 miles from LA and just southeast of Palm Springs is the Salton Sea. An investment in a growing, prosperous future. In the 1950s and 60s, it was buzzing. The sea was one of the most popular destinations in the state. It was called the California Riviera. The new recreational capital of the world. Today, things are a little different. At a local bar, I met some longtime residents. What was it like back then? <laughs> a lot different than what it is now. Oh, it was jumping. We used to have five bars in this town. Yeah. Wow. And they were always packed. Five bars, two marinas. You'd see more boats out there than you could count. At one point, this sea was filled with promise. Waterfront property for vacation homes, great fishing and water skiing. But if you look around today, it's a much different story. The beaches are filled with dead fish, and the properties nearby are abandoned. And the smell? Mm, not so good. I have to say, the smell is not exactly like a spring morning. So what happened? Simply put, the sea is drying up. It's gone down so much from what it was for even four or five years ago. Steve lives right on the edge of the Salton Sea. He showed me where he vacationed as a kid. This was a marina with a big two-story building. They had a bar and a restaurant there too. And there were probably around 150, 200 slips for the boats. So it's drying up It's quickly. drying up rapidly. And what's it like for you to see the water level continue to decline year by year? It's tragic. It's tragic. For scientists, the decline is alarming. The clock is ticking. Tim Krantz is the Salton Sea database manager and a professor of environmental studies. He says the impacts of a dried up lake could be severe. The environmental health costs, the ecological costs, the impacts on property values around the sea. These acres around the sea today are almost worthless. The Salton Sea was created by accident. In 1905, a canal system broke, and for two years, water from the Colorado River gushed into one of the lowest points in North America. The result? The Salton Sea. Rainfall and salty runoff from farms kept it filled. But over time, water levels dropped as water has been redirected. It became more salt and less sea. To where it's now 50% saltier than the ocean. About 10 years ago, it got so salty that all the large marine fish died, except for the estimated 40 million tilapia in the sea today. And water levels are about to get much lower. A legal settlement reducing water from the Colorado River means the sea will shrink even faster. So why not just leave it alone and let it dry up? For starters, toxic dust. As the lake bed dries up, strong desert winds will stir up tiny particles of poisonous minerals and chemicals. This would expose the lake bed sediments, which are very, very fine. These are particulates where I could get 30 particles in the width of a human hair. So small that if you inhale these, you cannot expel them. And so small that they will perfuse right into your, through your lungs into your bloodstream carrying with them whatever particles or chemicals are attached to those. That includes arsenic, selenium, cadmium. These are highly toxic chemicals. The Imperial Valley, home to the Salton Sea, has some of the worst air quality in the state. Our concern is if the sea continues to recede, then it's going to expose a lot of dry playa. Brad Porries, the air quality officer for Imperial County, says hospitalizations for respiratory problems are already three to four times the state average. More than anywhere else in California. Specifically for asthma-related issues? Correct. On a Thursday night at a high school in El Centro, more than 100 people, mostly parents and kids, turned out for a community asthma event. Ida Fulton is the organizer. She's a registered nurse who specializes in asthma care. As we do see an increase of hospitalizations when it's windy. You feel like your community is being overlooked right now? I, th I feel so, yeah. I feel so because this problem of asthma and air quality and all of that has been a problem in Imperial County for over 10 years, and there's nothing being done. We're all working together to 
come up with solutions. When this sea dries out, it's going to be a bigger problem. But the threat of unhealthy air extends far beyond the Imperial Valley because dangerous particulates can blow hundreds of miles. The southwestern U.S. and Mexico would be affected. It's not just a regional problem. It's an interstate problem. It's an international problem. What happens to your air quality as the Salton Sea continues to dry up? Well, the, our fear is, is that it's going to impact it so adversely that you're going to have you're going to have to issue severe advisories where people ba basically can't even go outside. It could start elevating readings throughout the whole state of California, thereby impacting their health as well. It sounds like this could be really bad. It could be really bad. Why and, is everyone not talking about this? Well, this is way out here in southeastern California, and people think that it's just a local or regional issue. But they don't understand the full consequences of this. Along with threats to human health comes habitat loss for wildlife. I think now it's like 95% of California's coastal wetlands have been developed, and there's nowhere for the birds to go. This goes away, the Pacific Flyway is crippled. Without the Salton Sea as a stopover for hundreds of species of birds, an entire ecosystem could be put in jeopardy. A number of proposals, which are detailed on our website, are in the works. One idea is to build a pipeline from the Gulf of California to bring in water to replenish the sea. Its eight to $10 billion price tag isn't cheap, but Tim says it would be a good investment and less expensive than letting the sea dry up. When we look at renewable energy opportunities, energy transmission opportunities, or just the improved property values of a stabilized sea. To do nothing costs on the order of 20 to $70 billion just to keep the sea from blowing, from blowing dust. In fact, a report from the Pacific Institute indicates neglecting the Salton Sea would cost taxpayers billions over the long haul in increased health care costs, reduced property values, and ecological damage. If and when a solution is finally chosen, Brad says it'll take years to start seeing results. We're already way behind the ball on this thing, so we're climbing an uphill battle the way it is right now. Even if, even if we all were in agreement today, it's going to take years to get it implemented to do it, and then you're already going to be facing those impacts from the sea being exposed. Steve hasn't lost hope that one day the lake will thrive again. This place would be covered with boats right now if there was a way to get them in the water. And back in town, at least the bar hasn't dried up. What a waste of a body of water it is. Nobody's making no money out of it. Nobody's enjoying it, you know. The fate of this lake is a sea of unanswered questions. Where will the money come from? Is there political will to save it? For now, the only certainty is that it's rapidly disappearing. I'm Derek Shore for SoCal Connected.